Hello everybody, it's your boy Chips Ahoy, don't mind air conditioner. I'm going to be making a quick video on um, how to like play music on one another through your microphone. This is mainly because I've been playing more VR chat lately and that's kind of what I, what I kind of do, whatever. Um, but, anyways. So what you are like, going to actually need is, I'll link all these links, like the important stuff in the description as well. Um, you're gonna need uh, gonna need this if you want to show um, like what's playing. It basically is a chat box like that. I have mine set for local time and media. Um, here, I'll make sure that you guys can see everything that I'm looking at. So basically, it's gonna be um, this website right here. Um, I don't know what website is link for GitHub? You're gonna download it. Um, every time you want to run this with VRChat, you're going to have to click it. That's why I pinned it to my taskbar, so it's easier for me every time I open up. Um, and then now for the actual um, how to play through your mic, you need to... I might... I'll also link this video in the description. It kind of goes over it pretty well, but it's really over right, over-explained and it's a little long, so... Um, what? You're gonna need is voice meter. I use voice meter banana because I honestly think it's the best one that you can get uh, use, I should say. And then you also need um, cable audio thing, cable audio input for it to actually work with um, this, you know, voice meter banana. Um, uh, it sh should be this link here. Um, when you do download this, if I'm not mistaken, you do have to reset your PC with this one, and same thing with voice meter banana as well, or just any voice meter. Um, right here. Uh, like I said, I'll link them both. It would be the EXE here, you know. Self explanatory. Um, I'm not going to do installations or anything because it's just a kind of a pain in the ass, but you know. Um, Whenever that's all installed, because it's all, like I said, it's all pretty self-explanatory. In this video, we'll show you how to do most of it. Once that's all installed, you have to go into your voice meter. Um, I do this system tray and run on Windows startup because then I can see it in my tray. And every time my computer starts up, voice meter will start up. Um, this is basically my microphone interface for you know, my actual microphone anyway, too. As you can see, here's my microphone input. Um, now, if you have a USB microphone, you're obviously going to want to select whatever USB microphone you have. I, I've been using MME, I think it's a little better, I'm not sure, but it doesn't really matter, whatever one it is. But, um, yeah, whatever microphone it is, which mine is a Blue Snowball, you know. Um, you can also do, I don't th no, there's no default device anymore, I don't think, but, yeah. And then, what you got to do then for the actual audio here, is you're going to need to put it on the cable input here, MME cable, for this one. You need to make sure that A1 and A and B1 is on so you can hear it and other people can hear it. Um, and then what you also need to do is go in the Microsoft Store and download this thing called uh, Ear Trumpet. I use this to basically change the inputs. You would be right clicking it and then you're just changing source of to whatever browser you're using. If you're using Spotify, same thing, basically. Whatever audio you want, like whatever programs audio you want to be um, going through your microphone, basically, and I should be heard by other people. You'd be using that. Um, I use Ear Trumpet because it's um, better than a normal uh, Windows um, volume mixer because for some reason it likes to reset audio sometimes from what I've heard. Um, I don't know if it still does, but I I just been using this because it's just easier because you know. I just pin it to my taskbar, I open it, you know, when I need it to be opened. And then when you don't want people to hear your audio from whatever it is, you can either uh, click the B1 thing or you can just go back into here and just switch it back to whatever your speakers are. In my case, my speakers are this, well, this, right? Okay, and then, yeah, that's kind of the basics really, honestly. Like I said, every time you open up your chat, you need to open up this if you want it to show this and when you do have it open the ones that I have on right now is just media and clock clock will only show when um, when there's not like media playing if there's media playing and I'll show you instance of media playing doesn't matter what it is 
it'll show up there what it is so other people can see what you're listening to basically um, but yeah that's the easiest rundown example I can um, come up with really if you have any questions um, let me know in the comments and I'll maybe make another follow-up video to answer any questions and if this video doesn't cover everything that is needed which from what I've watched it, it basically goes through like the installation process and everything basically so when I out of rates I'm just giving the rundown of it basically but yeah um, anyways thanks thanks for watching and uh, until the next one adios